Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video. In this video I'm going to be doing 10 pulls for Mercer and it's mainly because I don't really have a long term plan for a defense team on this region and I guess he's a reasonably decent leader, at least for now. Um, I My plan is to get Princess and Wang Far as my next characters, Deyu otherwise and once I've got Deyu I've not got anyone to work on. And, and I'm 25% I'm of the way to Deyu, like 90% of the way to Wang Far, and like 85% of the way to Princess. So it isn't going to be too long until I have all of those three characters as S-Class characters. So Mercer's definitely on the table. And if I can get him in a temple, that would just obviously get me like 20% of the way there. So it's, it's pretty decent. The other characters in here are kind of strange. We do have Michonne as a 6-star, not as a 5-star ascendable because she is not in the game as a 5-star ascendable. Then we have Piper as an event character. Lydia, who's okay, I wouldn't mind getting Lydia. Not that I'd use her, just that she is a rare character. I don't have her. Uh, Spencer, not so much. But the, the thing I, th I think about this, Will, is if we if we go back to the beginning, you can see that he is only available as a six star and a five star ascendable. And there are none of his cards on this wheel. The weird thing here is bringing back a character like this, generally speaking, the people who will pull will be the ones that pull for him the first time and want to finish off his collection. And there are no cards available in the drops, so you can't even get his cards. The collection item here, that it says 33% is the Velvet Cakes. And then it's the featured character, which is 0.6%. Someone who pulled the first time around who got two of him will have no benefit from pulling from this wheel. So it's questionable how they're, they're doing the comeback wheels a bit. It's more for people who missed out, or people like, like, people like me who just didn't pull, or people who maybe did 100 pulls but only got the one character from doing the 100 pulls. Or maybe did a 40 pull and only got one character. It isn't for anyone who actually wants to get his collection items. Because they just do not drop. Same with the Wang Far wheel that was a couple of weeks ago. Same with Deyu's wheel that was last week. It was only good if you didn't have two of that character already. So... Yeah, it is very strange. We're going to do the 10 pull on... I think we're going to do it on... Um, I think we're going to do it on 5 star No, do it on 6 star Piper Do it on 6 star Piper I did use her for a bit And it's only going to be a 10 like I said If we can get him Happy days If not, hopefully some Velvet Cakes Maybe another character Big numbers in Velvet Cakes If we do get Velvet Cakes though, please Please give me an Ascendable Please give me an Ascendable Two four stars and two velvet cakes, I think, so far. More velvet cakes. More velvet cakes. It's like 33% chance, I think. When you've got a couple more pulls, I think. Well, maybe one more. That's it. That's it. So a bunch of four stars. I don't think the four stars should really be in this wheel anymore. Mainly because they're useless. It'd be better if they were like, honestly, like three star trainers would be better than four star characters more useful. I'd instantly use three star trainers. These are generally just depot, to be honest. Or just have five star characters in there. Again, not very useful, but at least they're fodder. At least I can use them for something. Um, how many did we get? Looks like we got maybe 200. You know, just under 200. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Is it just under 200? Yeah, it's around that. That's like 180 velvet cakes and we do have the collections coming back. It doesn't look like they're doing five star characters anymore. So when they have the collections come back, as you can see with Mercer, there's the S class version for 250, and then there's the six star version for 500. So when the characters that I've got as S class characters come round, I can get them for 250, which is actually pretty nice. I have got Heng Yen on this region. I don't think he's come in for the Velvet Cakes. So I'm not sure what's going on there with his Velvet Cakes. But otherwise, the other characters seem to be coming through on the Velvet Cake situation a couple of times. I think Priya's come through twice, so... Yeah, well, it wasn't to be on this time. I am still probably going to focus him. Is he in his own box? No. So it is up to Deyu. The Daily Crate as well has gone up to Deyu as well, which I noticed, which is great. If you see that on the Daily Crate, it is Deyu now, which is awesome. It's way overdue. Um, let's see if the Arenas one has been updated as well wasn't last week but i haven't checked it this week it has not been updated so it's still the 
old crate here. In here, it's like nearly 10 characters behind. Leagues is really bad on this reward crate, to be honest. Really, really bad. I think the majority of people will probably take veteran rings, but it doesn't. It's, it's nice to have an option, you know. It's nice to have a little option. But yeah, that's the end of my video, guys. Did not get Mercer, but we will look at him in the future once he comes into the daily crates and stuff like that on the roadmaps. If you did do a poll for Mercer, do let me know what you got. That is the end of my video, though, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in, and as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.